Last time on Ring's Great Adventure. We're sitting at the Broken Earth Cafe and this is the view out over Broken Hill. Pretty cool. Jug only cares about one thing, it's jargon. Jug only cares about one thing, it's jargon. Rings great adventure, how good's that? We didn't bring the dog and we didn't bring the cat. Jug only cares about one thing, it's jargon. Fist off work to travel the map. New South Wales is where it's at. From the snowy mounds to the great outback, we're jargon. See the sunrise while having a cup. See the sunset while living it up Life's pretty good when we're on the road and chugging Good morning Good morning So we've woken up to another beautiful day in Broken Hill Today is Menindee Lakes Day We're heading out to Menindee And we're going to explore all the beautiful scenery, <laughs> flora and fauna around the lake Yep, we're, we're doing what we love best today is we're going to go and check out some of the native wildlife and see the beautiful country again yeah so first we've got to do a pit stop in town make sure we've got fuel water that's it isn't it fuel and water yeah we're just running a bit low on water so we're going to make sure we fill that up again before we hit the road and uh, there was <coughs> some rain yesterday but we believe the road is open it closes after heavy rain so looks like we've got lucky today we're going to hit the road jack ready <laughs> Take two. Let's try that again. Hey, Chugga, <laughs> Chugga's awake. Chugga's awake too. Let's hit the road, eh? We woke up this morning to the milestone of 400 subscribers, and we'd like to thank each and every one of you for your support and your continued support. And we hope we can continue to bring some joy to your screens show you some of the unique places on this beautiful planet so from the both of us thank you i just want to say i look forward to doing more adventures to be honest with you i love doing them i don't mind a bit of a giggle and a chuckle and a laugh so i just hope that you can stick with us over on the side of the road on the road out to Menindee Lake and we're having a bit of a look around which I highly recommend you do when you're driving along because you never know what you're gonna find. I'm walking through a dry creek bed while Brendan's up looking for animals in like a roadside junkyard. He's finding lizards, he's having a ball but I just love being out here where there's no one except for me and the animals. Just being able to see all of Australia's natural beauty. It's a gorgeous country. We've just pulled over on the Menindee Road. To the untrained eye, this might look like a massive pile of junk right next to the old riverbed, but we know better. With a bit of poking around, it's places like this that you can truly find some of Australia's best kept secrets. Something we're looking for in particular are reptiles. I love them. So I was up here before, and I was poking around under a couple of pieces of tin. Yeah. And I happened to find one of Australia's most endangered species. What one? A legless lizard. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take you over there and give you a good look. They're very similar to snakes, so always be careful. But the legless lizard 
although it slithers along like a snake to move forward, mm. it has tiny, tiny, tiny little legs, four of them along the sides. The roads are perfect for what we're looking for. The lizards, they usually tend to hide somewhere close to the bottom of a tree or under a piece of tin or just around the base of a shrub because a lizard can't self-moderate its own heat. So what it does is it'll hide under the tree and it'll pop out a little bit, it'll get a little bit of a sunbake and warm up to the right temperature so it's got energy again to go and hunt and move. And then when it's hot enough, or if it overheats, or if a predator's close, it can just slide backwards straight back under the bush and then it can't be seen again. Oh, crikey! We've come to a bit of rubbish. Someone's dumped an old fridge on the side of the road. But being that the door on the fridge has fallen open, that provides a perfect shelter for all sorts of animals. Let's have a look. Be careful. Now remember, if you're going to go poking around the bush, it's always probably best to be wearing closed toed shoes, just in case something does jump out in the wrong direction and you're not ready for it. See, just here? There it is. What a beauty. Here we are, we've just lifted up a little bit of corrugated iron that was half buried in the ground. It seemed like a great opportunity at the time to find something special. And guess what? We did. Check out this little guy. Like always, he's been good enough to let us get a couple of great photos. So what we've done is we've tipped the tin back over in its original place. Now that that's done, let's see what else we can find. Well, as you can see, this is one of the most endangered species of all when it comes to reptiles. This is the legless lizard. Looks just like a snake, and as you can see just here, very tiny, tiny, tiny little, just as thin as a pin, if not thinner, he's got little legs. But he doesn't use them to move forward. How good's this? We just pulled over on the side of the road because, whoa, he's a feisty devil. He really wants to get a piece of me, this one. This is one of Australia's most famous icons, the shingleback lizard, better known by the locals as a bog eye. Now, there's a reason they call him a bog eye. Truth be told, he looks like a bog with eyes. As you can see, unlike the bearded dragons, when these little guys are startled, they put on a bit of a show. They open their mouths up and they got these bright blue tongues and they stick them out to say, go away, I've had enough of you. Tell you what, we got the message loud and clear. Something interesting that we didn't know was that it seems that these little guys are eating the Patterson's Curse, which is a pest weed that absolutely takes over the area. It has beautiful purple flowers, but it is lethal when it comes to taking over this land. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put him down in a safe place off the road in the same direction that he was going in. It's only right. Here you go. Ha <laughs> ha! How good was that?
tell you about it. We've just arrived at Menindi Lakes. We pulled over at the first milk bar we found. And as we walked up to go and get a cold drink, this overwhelming smell of fish and chips came out from the shop. So we decided to get fish and chips. <laughs> and now we're sitting by the lake eating fish and chips. And we just thought we better share this because the Red Sands, I think it's called the Red Sands Cafe, or the Red Sand Takeaway. That's what it's called. The Red Sands Cafe deserves being mentioned. This fish is amazing. Look at it. Yum. Beautiful. That's my bit. No, it's not. Oh. It's so good. Mmm. Yum. Yeah.